Eric Adams joins me now. He's the CEO and president of InMed Pharmaceuticals. Eric, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. You bet, Eric. Uh, we had a, an attempt at a conversation yesterday, but unfortunately Skype didn't cooperate with us. So, so let's, uh, let's resume the conversation, but uh, let's kick it off again with a quick overview of what exactly InMed Pharmaceuticals is. Sure. Well, InMed Pharmaceuticals is exactly that, a biopharmaceutical company that is specializing in cannabinoid medicines. So what we're doing is looking at individual cannabinoids, which are drug components found uh, also in the marijuana plant, uh, and we're trying to develop those into uh, prescription-based pharmaceuticals to treat diseases with high unmet medical needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you've got one product that's actually already quite advanced. And uh, I think it's important to differentiate for our subscribers uh, that this isn't just a, uh, it's not a drug development company per se, it's a drug development platform that will be used to create a whole brand new family of uh, cannabis, cannabis derived drugs. Is that, is that more or less accurate? It's pretty accurate. I mean, we don't grow any cannabis. Uh, we have no association with the plant other than we understand its genetic makeup uh, and it's a source for over a hundred different cannabinoid uh, drugs. And what we're doing is looking at those individually. We are biosynthesizing those in a laboratory setting uh, and we are taking those individual drugs and making those into prescription pharmaceutical products. Hmm. So you're doing the biosynthesis of cannabinoids yourselves? We intend to, yeah. We're in the process right now of taking what we've learned from a laboratory setting or a benchtop setting, and we're scaling that up with a number of different partners uh, to commercial scale. So that's a process that's going to take us at least uh, 2019 to to uh, pull that together. Uh, mm -hmm. We've been working on this biosynthesis process for over four years now, uh, just trying to understand the, the genes that we need to create in order to get our bacterial system to actually make cannabinoids. So that's been a big uh, hurdle that we've gotten over. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty excited about it. And uh, together with these pharmaceutical partners, uh, these contract manufacturing organizations, we're going to be you know, furthering that scale up process. Okay. So you're currently developing a drug that uh, addresses the, the butterfly syndrome. Uh, which is a which is a real orphan sort of segment of of uh, in the disease world, isn't it? It is. It's it's a rare disease. Its formal name is epidermolysis bullosa. Uh, it is a condition also referred to as butterfly child syndrome, where the integrity of the skin is very poor. So at the slightest touch or or scratch, you can actually rip the skin and and have an open wound. Uh, and we're looking at that from two points of view with cannabinoids. First of all, cannabinoids are capable of treating a number of symptoms that these patients are dealing with on a daily basis. That includes things like accelerated wound healing, uh, pain, itch, inflammation, and uh, these cannabinoids are also antibacterial in their nature. So one product we believe would be able to address a suite of these symptoms that uh, they have to deal with on a daily basis. The flip side of that is we also know that cannabinoids can regulate the keratin production in the body. And keratins are responsible for a subset of these patients uh, and, and uh, I should say the, the misregulation of these keratins is responsible for a subset of these patients. So what we're looking to do is use the right cannabinoids to upregulate keratins to hopefully lead to some degree of disease reversal in a mm -hmm. subset of patients. So it's kind of a two-pronged approach. Right, interesting. So. Um that's, that's fantastic for sufferers of this condition. Um, we were speaking to the analyst at Ultacorp earlier today, David Kodaikal, and he was indicating that he felt that GW Pharma's Epidiolex was going to become a blockbuster drug defined as a uh, drug that sells over a billion dollars worth in, in a year. Is there anything in Ed, InMed's product pipeline or sort of future plans that contemplates a blockbuster type drug? Absolutely. So the the uh, product INM750 for EB, while it's a very small uh, patient population, has a huge potential just because of the amount of product that you, you'll use on an annual basis. Um, other products that have been investigated uh, for this indication have been projected to be billion dollar products. So I think we're kind of squarely in that in that blockbuster category. 
Looking downstream, we're going to be considering products and we're developing products for glaucoma, which is currently about a $6 billion or close to that uh, market, uh, and others for the application uh, to treat pain. So those are both very big uh, indications and uh, huge sales potential. And you know we're, we hope to be a competitive player in, the, in those markets. Sure. What's the timeline to development of these products before they're in the marketplace? Well, INM 750 is our lead program. Currently, we anticipate being uh, in our first human clinical trials in the second half of 2019. Uh, and then that will be followed then by more advanced uh, phase two and phase three trials down the road. So it's a little early right now to project what the commercial date for this product would be. We still have a lot of uh, clinical hurdles to get over uh, and it'll be a number of factors playing into how quickly we can get through these clinical trials. So I don't want to speculate on how far. It's certainly several years away, um, but uh, you know how far out in the, in the future, it's, it's very difficult to say at this point. Sure. Um, how much money is it going to take you to get there? I mean, do you guys have enough cash on hand to get to your ob objectives or are you going to need to do some more capital raises in 2019? Well, 2018 was a really big year for us in terms of capital raising. Um, I think we raised about $24 million. Uh, currently, uh, in, our, in our accounts, we've got about uh, 24, 25 million in cash. That's enough to pay for all of our programs for the next two years. Or thereabouts. So mm -hmm. um, I think we're in a very good cash position right now. Uh, as we go forward, of course, clinical trials are not inexpensive. Uh, we will have to contemplate at some point uh, additional cash uh, raises. Um, but we also have hopes that our biosynthesis process, which we'll use not only for our own pharmaceutical products, but we will make available to other people under licensing agreements, we hope that uh, that will be a cash positive business. Uh, before the actual pharmaceutical products reach the market. So that would be a big boost for us if we can get to that point. Sure. Where is the main, uh, main operational activity of InMed? Well, we're located in Vancouver, but we work with uh, uh, contract manufacturers and research organizations around the world. So we're very active in Israel and Europe and across Canada. Uh, and as we begin to expand our clinical trials into phase two, which would be probably in, uh, in 2020, we'll be branching into the U.S. and to other jurisdictions as well. Wow, that sounds great. Um, what are the other areas in, in medical science that, for which uh, cannabinoids are starting to indicate some real potential? Well, epilepsy, of course, is, is what GW has pursued, and they have an approval now in the U.S. for Epidiolex. Uh, so if you look at epilepsy, other neurological type conditions, other cognitive conditions, I think cannabinoids are going to make a real breakthrough there. We're looking at uh, the topical application. So our products won't be ingested, at least not at this stage. Uh, so we're applying them topically to the side of the disease. We think there's several advantages to doing that. So we're looking at various uh, skin conditions. We're looking at the diseases of the eye, including glaucoma, and then topical application for pain. So that's kind of our sweet spot right now. Uh, we'll see, you know, as, as opportunities arise, we may branch out into other directions. But, uh, you know, we're all just scratching the surface. Uh, the cannabinoids are going to be uh, a mainstay, I think, in a very broad range of disease categories. Uh, these things are active throughout the body. We have receptors for them throughout the body. And I think really we're just getting started as a uh, new branch of medicine to treat a wide range of diseases. Sure, you bet. I look at the uh, price of GW Pharma, which I think is somewhere around 120 US a share today, and I look at the price of InMed and I think, you know, if the potential is for InMed to get a, you know, FDA approved drugs onto the global marketplace, then obviously there's an incredible opportunity here. And so uh, we're going to continue to follow your story very closely and uh, we'll leave it there for now. But thanks very much for the update, Eric. Really appreciate it. Nice talking to you again, and I look forward to next time. You bet.